If opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. <laughs> good morning or good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the channel if you are new to it. My name is Paula, your weird host. Today, we will be looking for gold under the water. Now, the island here that I live on has been getting rained on so heavily and it's not stopping anytime soon, except for like right now, of course. So I figured why not just get in the water and join its wetness. This is my one of a kind bulletproof shelter that I made, but uh, it has holes in it, so it's not even really waterproof, but I tried. For those of you who don't know, hunting for gold underwater is actually really nice. You get to lay on what I call the river couch, <laughs> the river couch, and uh, you, look, you get to look at spots that nobody has ever looked before. You get to tickle some fish and of course, hopefully, find some gold. Now, since this river is starting to fill up with even more water, we now have access to more places to look under the water, which is really good. All right, so I'm gonna start upstream here and then just float my way downstream. Let's do it. I thought I would start off by checking the first crack I saw. And I'm aware that scratching sound is not fun to listen to. You really want to remove all the rocks from these cracks to expose any gold. Just like that, our first piece of the day. Sweet! <laughs> first piece! Now I really want to remove these rocks, but it's difficult when you're using a dull tool. Now this spot is a little bit deeper than the last one, and I was already seeing a bunch of tiny pieces. Although barely visible, each piece will add up. Nothing in this corner, so let's move along the crack. And there's our second bigger piece of the day. Which 
got stuck in our straw. Uh I found another deep spot out of the current that was holding a bunch of small gold. So I decided to dig into it just a little bit more. Sometimes when you're fanning, you'll get lucky and come across these easy pieces. <laughs> that was an easy find. Neat. There's a rusty bolt right there, but it's just too far gone to remove. I noticed a nice looking crack that went under the gravel, so I had to get to it. And I'm glad I did. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, three. One, two, three, four. Four pieces. <laughs> there we go. Another one. Alrighty. 
So it's been around an hour. Um, I'm just chilling in base camp right now, staying out of the rain while I re replenish my fluids and change my battery. But I've gone upstream about 50 feet and I've gone downstream about 50 feet. And we've actually found some pretty nice gold in that matter of time. Once I change this battery and I finish talking to you guys, I'm gonna pack up, I'm gonna drive to the bottom of McLean and then we're gonna go look underwater over there too. I haven't been underwater there yet, so I'm actually pretty excited to check that out. But first, I'll show you the gold that we have found so far. Okay, so for one hour, that's not tea bag at all. Now, this is the kind of sides gold that you will find when you're mining underwater in this creek. And most of these pieces were really easy to find, which is a very good sign. I also found a bullet. Now this is good not only because I collect bullets, but because I am cleaning our river. So let's continue with this trend and see what else we can find. Let's hurry up, go for round two. <laughs> I really can't explain to you how relaxing this is. You just float around finding cool things. No matter where I looked in this area, I came up with nothing but I did manage to find one pocket that looked good. There was one piece of gold in it. And of course, it wasn't easy to get. So, I'm not really finding anything down here. <laughs> Upstream, I'm finding a butt, a butt. Upstream, we found some gold. Downstream, we found one piece of gold and one piece of pyrite, but nothing, <laughs> but nothing else. So I went back upstream, I got changed, and I'm uh, just gonna call it a day. It's a bit of a shorter video today, but hey, I gotta make more videos. I'm, I'm slacking, I know. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to the house and look at what we did find a little bit closer. All right, back at the house. Let's see what we found. So, we did come back with some gold, or what I like to call candy. I was hoping to find more on round two, but you can't always win. These two pieces have character to them, which I guess is a bonus. We also found a nice chunk of pyrite, which I don't often come across, and even a bullet to add to the collection. Let's weigh the gold. Be careful that I don't want any more carpet gold. 10 ounces. 1.43 grams, sweet. So for that amount of gold in about a six hour trip, that's not tea bag. I mean, I'm actually pretty happy with finding that. I used to find little pickers and then be so excited, but now it's kind of like a normal thing. But I think it's because I've moved from panning to mining underwater. And when you're mining underwater, typically you will find bigger gold. And speaking of bigger gold, I really want to go back down with scuba gear. I want to go down deep. I want to move a lot of overburden and work like the perfect crevices. I feel like that's where it's going to pay out the most. And judging by the question I put out on my YouTube earlier, a lot of people want to see more underwater videos. And because it's such a rainy season right now I think that's our best option now like I always say if you enjoyed this video please let me know by leaving a like comment or even hitting that subscribe button if you're interested to see anything else extra like behind the scenes stuff hints to see what's in the future or maybe something that you didn't see on YouTube I am on social media where you can keep updated to see what's going on thank you for watching thank you so much for your support until the next one ah we'll see you later You get to lay on what I call the river couch, <laughs> the river couch.